Hi everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hedeman, the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And I wanted to put together this quick video to talk about some of the drawing changes in Tecla Structures 2022. Um, now, you may or may not be aware that in Tecla 2021, we combined all of our different detailing licenses into a single diamond license. So instead of having, you know, a steel detailing and then a rebar detailing and a precast detailing, now it's a single license for any type of uh, structural detailing uh, called diamond. So to go along with that, we've also now combined all of our drawing creation functionality into a single create fabrication drawings option that can create all of those different drawing types. Um, also, if you're in the US environment, you're gonna find that the drawing properties have been revamped to use the, what we call new drawing settings that came out a few years ago. So I'm not gonna go into that in a lot of detail in this video, I just wanted to touch on kind of what you're going to see and, and what to expect and then how to use this new create fabrication drawings function. So first, just so that you can see what it's going to look like under the drawing properties, if I were to choose something like assembly drawing, you'll see that the dialog box looks much different than it used to. And again, I'll go into this in more detail in the future, but you'll find for uh, a simple explanation that all of the same options are here. They're renamed a little bit different but you can see that we've got BOM, uh, so you're 11 by 17, typically sometimes bigger, for beams and channels and columns. And then if you wanted to make multi-drawings, all of those options are down here as well. So if I wanted to create something like a column drawing, just like before, I would select and that auto loads the column properties. And then I can go ahead and say apply or OK to create a column drawing. Now, what is different about the drawing creation process is how you select the model is going to dictate what drawings are created, okay? So you have here your select assemblies. That's how I want to select the model to make an assembly drawing. If I wanted to make part drawings, then I would use the objects in components or the objects in assemblies option so that I can grab the individual pieces, okay? So let's go over creating a basic column drawing. I'm going to go ahead and select the assemblies grab a couple of columns here. And again, I could use um, filters if I wanted to, just like in older versions. And then I would use this create fabrication drawing. Now under the dropdown, you're gonna see there are a couple of toggles. I'm gonna turn these off for now because we'll talk about those in a bit. We're gonna go on simple drawing creation. So to do that, you would simply hit the fabrication drawings button. And that's it. Um, so it's going to go through the drawing creation process. If I open up my document manager, uh, we can see that three column drawings have been created. So super simple, right? So if I wanted to create some beam drawings, I would go to my assembly drawing properties. I would go ahead and choose the BOM beam, say OK. Let's grab a couple of beam drawings in here and then hit create drawings and uh, Again, if I go to my document manager once that's complete, now I've got some beam assembly drawings. Now I mentioned how your selection is going to dictate what's get, what gets created. So if I come in here and I change to objects in components and I wanna to go to my drawing properties for single part drawings, we can do the same thing. I could choose, you know, let's say I wanted to make some plate details. So I'll say, okay, now I can go in here grab a couple of plates. Maybe I want to grab these two uh, column base plates. I don't think I have any connection plates in here. Let me rotate this around a little bit. Oh, got a shear tab on the other side of this. Uh, let's see, let's grab that guy there. There we go. And again, I could use a selection filter or something like that. But then I simply go up here, create fabrication drawings, click that button. It does give me a little bit of warning the first time I do this saying, hey, you're about to create a single part drawing, just making sure that my selection is correct. But if I go now to my document manager, you can see now I've got some workshop or single part drawings created. So how I'm selecting the part is going to dictate what drawing is created. Okay, so that's that's as simple as you can get in the, in the explanation of the new fabrication drawing function. Now, if we wanted to get into some of the, the more advanced stuff, uh, going back to those toggles, we have creation review and smart create. So we're gonna talk about creation review first. So if I enable creation review, the neat thing about this 
is I can go ahead and select a bunch of drawings or a bunch of objects, excuse me. Uh, in this case, I'm using the Select Assemblies button. Then I can hit that Create Fabrication Drawing, but instead of just creating, because what was my last drawing setting again? You know, maybe you don't remember. This is going to allow you to review the selected parts and choose what settings should be applied to them. So you can see that it's bringing up a list of all of my selected objects, and I can sort by the product, which would be the, the piece mark and name. I can sort by type. Uh, so here, you can see I've got some selected objects, some unselected objects. Down here at the bottom, you can turn on and off what you're seeing in this list. Am I seeing all of the assemblies in this list? Am I seeing the associated parts for those assemblies? So if I wanted to also see the single parts inside of the beams and inside of the columns, so uh, the clip angles and the shear tabs and things like that. Do I want to see objects that already have drawings created? Probably not. So maybe I'll go ahead and hide that option. So you can enable and disable what's visible here. But the neat thing that I find about this is I can come in here and say, all right, I've got two anchor rods. And you can see how it's highlighting those anchor rods in the model. Let me go ahead and move this over so you can see better. Um, so now I can say, all right, what settings should be used for those anchor rods? Well, I'm going to hit my drop down menu and choose the BOM anchor drawing setting. So let me go ahead and grab some of my beams here, and I'm going to hit the drop down menu for those and choose the beam drawing setting. And there's probably a couple more. Let me go ahead and grab those, and we'll change that to the beam drawing setting. And then I can come through here and grab the columns, and let's use the column drawing setting. Now, I wasn't using any filters, so it's literally picking up everything. And I could say, you know what, I don't want to create drawings of these particular objects. Either I'm not responsible for them or it's just not a drawing I want to make right now. But this is the creation review, okay? It allows me to review a list of selected objects, show or hide different things, choose the drawing setting I want to use. That way I don't have to constantly be loading a different setting and hitting apply and okay. And then I can click create. And that's going to go through and make all of the drawings with my desired settings based on what I chose in the smart uh, in the creation review, excuse me, dialog box. So we're going to give this a moment to go through. As you can see, it's creating those drawings uh, pretty quickly here. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the document manager and see what's been created. OK, so it's complete. Let's go ahead and open our document manager. And now you can see I've got all of my beam drawings created. If I scroll down, I've got column drawings created. Up there, we've got our anchor drawings created, OK? So that creation review, in my opinion, is a very fast and easy way to make my sheets. I can choose exactly what settings I want to go with which objects uh, very, very quickly, OK? Now, the last thing I want to talk about is this option, this toggle for Smart Create. Now, I can toggle it here. Or you'll find when you go ahead and you, uh, you, know, you want to create some drawings, like let's say I just go through that drawing creation review, there is a smart create toggle here where I can choose uh, which ones are going to have that option. So it's, it's basically the same setting, just in two different locations. But what smart create is going to do is it's sort of an intelligent cloning. So cloning has been around for a while where you can take an object that's already detailed and use it as a base for new objects that you're making drawings of. Smart Create is the first round in, in intelligent drawing creation where Tecla is going to try to choose the matching drawing type for you. So instead of me going and saying, I want to use Beam B5 as my cloning template, Tecla is going to compare two existing sheets and try to find the best match for you. Now, you can, of course, override that, but that's what Smart Create is going to do. So if I move down here to the next section of the building, let's say I grab a couple of more objects down here. I do have the Review and Smart Create enabled, so I'm going to hit uh, Create Fabrication Drawings. So here, let me make this a little bit taller. So you can see here are all of the, the objects that I have selected. And then Smart Create is enabled for these. And then we have a list of existing drawings that Tecla thinks might be a good match. So you can go ahead and review these. Uh, maybe you don't think that C44 is a good match for column C27. And that's perfectly OK. You can come in here, 
turn off the smart create and then choose a drawing creation, uh, just a regular drawing creation property. If you want to leave smart create on, that's great. Uh, you can choose a different beam drawing to use uh, in another case. So you have a lot of flexibility here. You can say, leave it up to Tecla to choose the best drawing. I can choose a different drawing, or I can completely disable Smart Create for that option and go ahead and just use a default drawing property before hitting Create. Okay, so there is a, a little bit more nuance and some deeper things we can get into with that, but I wanted to keep this, this video kind of short and sweet. Um, hopefully that answers some questions about this new fabrication drawing option. So we'll make another video about those new drawing properties for those who haven't seen that functionality before. Uh, but in the meantime, we hope you find that this uh, content was helpful and enjoy this new development.